This is either the best or worst video idea I've had in the while. But hey guys, what's going on? My name's Rick, and welcome to all the game called Ship Sandbox. Now, this apparently got stopped being updated in 2014, but basically it's a game where you have ships and there's an options menu I can't really show for you know, fraps and all that, but um, basically you have strength, buoyancy, wave, height, water pressure, and ocean depth. So say if I'm to come here and now that's in frame, I angle the ocean depth, you know, I'm gonna do that. I'm actually gonna have that on um, 274, why not? Um, water pressure on 10, a little bit of that. I'm just gonna test about with this game. So buoyancy's up and um, yeah, I've, I've ticked out stress, I hope. Um, yeah, we'll have the strength on a two, but I found this game hanging around on my computer. And from what I can tell, all traces of this were actually erased from the internet. I have no idea why. But when I looked before, I could not find a single working download link for this. So, th this is a nice little thing. Trinket from the past. Um, there is a sequel which doesn't run on AMD graphics cards, which is what I tragically have. And didn't run on my video as well, so. You know, you're a bit iffy there. But, anyways, let's actually get to sinking Starship. I, I, this is supposed to actually be a full thing. However, I just sort of diddled about with it. Anyway, okay, that's at least the funnels on giving each other strength. So, oh no, you've hit a landmine. Boom. Anyway, um, this game was really big on YouTube ages ago. Apparently, I looked up and I was like, wow, there was this one channel which I actually got a decent amount of shit packs from. I can't remember their name. Like, it was DTA something abbreviated to that, at least. Anyway, here goes the ship. It's a stress. I've actually messed about with this on Titanic stuff. So, say for actually to break this. Oh no, it's, see, now it's becoming a little bit weaker. So, oh no, what's that? Oh no, they knocked through the hole? Oh no. Oh no, now there's a lot of stress. See, that's what I love about this game. It comes apart like butter. I honestly have no idea why this was even on my computer. Like, I played this game maybe once. I saw it on a video and then I just never played it again. Anyway, there goes the ship. So the question is, is can it angle itself in an appropriate enough manner to stay above the water and etc? And we'll have to see. Is it gonna go down in an early round? Nope, I, ha I have the feeling it's even going to transfer. I'm not going to interfere here. The question is, is, will it survive? Like, like basically, um, here, here these, like, vector thick shit. Um, they're, like, fucking vectors. Like, you can zoom in all you want. You took a high enough quality. Basically, from what I can understand, once you get infected with this blue, which I can suppose is water, they start also producing water if they're underneath, but they need to be infected first, basically. So I think only one can be initially infected. That's basically my sort of hypothesis for how this works. And come on, detach! Detach, you're transferring half the water from this bottom part into here, and it's coming down! Come on, like, surely, surely it's not actually going to, you know, pull this on me. Come on, I'm rooting for the ship to survive, and you're just some modern... No, right, okay, let's actually higher up the ocean floor. Like, okay, it's taking far so long to reach one. <gasps> oh, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Mm, okay. Oh! Right. Okay. Thing. Right, okay, you know, we'll remove that. We'll just cut it off. We'll cut the cord. Okay, and never mind, it was going down anyway because of the damage and... <gasps> What? It's like a phantom. What have I triggered? Let's go to the top particles. Come on. It's really decent things. It shouldn't be that aerodynamic. If I remember this game's engine from the one time I freaking played it. Okay, see, okay, that's going to take a while to come down. But anyway, that's the first ship down. So let's actually see if we can um, find some ships to do so. If I'm right, okay, here it is. The iconic MS Quantum of Seas. Also, it's me. Also, I know it. Get fucked. So, oh shit, OneDrive. Okay, anyway, so you can actually pull the game control P and, right, what scenario should we have this? So, um, let's just say, um, there's a terrorist on board, they've cut off the antenna so nobody can listen to the radio, how tragic, and, um, yeah, they got this coordinated, so there's two bombs that have gone off on either side of the ship. <laughs> Who knows, let's press play. I genuinely hope it just sort of splits down the middle, for my satisfaction. Anyway, goodbye radio antenna. No, I bet everybody's got to be fucked. Like, the, the worst part is, isn't the ship sink? The fact they've got no radio. Anyway, oh, this is got to be fun. Look at all the stress already. Like, oh, actually, should I reduce the stress to a one? Yeah. Oh, uh, there we are. And I, I, when I was messing up before, I played on one and it helped sink the Titanic. So the question is, is, can this stay above the water? Because think, at that, that's not going to sink the entire ship. However... You know, that would. So see, that, that bit's doomed. That bit's going down to the bottom of the ocean. 
The question is, though, is will this stay with the water or will it start to plunge down? I genuinely have run out of ag video ideas. Tomorrow with Sims, as per usual. Shit, my parents' evening is just over an hour. And I've not even got changed on my school uniform. I need to get my priorities straight. Okay. Okay, let's... Uh, oh, oh, is it, is it about to plunge down? Okay, oh, the, the physics on the water. Like, it would have came in through those... That, this, that when it begun to split. It's just sort of there in the corner. I bet if it begins to tilt, it'll sort of move on. It's cool. Wait, here's the first one. Being absolutely decimated. Like, I would do a fake Webblecop reaction. When honestly, I just enjoy watching people die. So, I mean, this is satisfying enough for me. And for those of you who are surprised that I'm a complete and not a sociopath, you know, honestly, where the fuck have you been the past two years? Okay, well, it, it just so happens that the Hilton Hotel have a grudge against a certain ship, so boom. Oh no. It appears complications have arisen and... Woo! I, I love that. Okay. And Oh, here's one thing I need to mention. Jelly physics. Basically, say if something attaches, it would start to shake a bit. That's basically what this is. However, if it stays for too long, there's so much stress it just splits in half, and the only thing you can do is set the strength to ten and hope it survives. Anyway, it's... Still not gone, okay? There's a few exposed things here, which hopefully drain adding in water. And honestly, I just want to see the ship freaking sink. Like, it's just... Oh, there we are. See, it's like the ending to Titanic. The boat's going under. Ship sinking. That's pretty much the end of Titanic, I don't know. Actually, the woman dies in her sleep and then goes back to the Titanic. Like... And honestly, I think you'd have PTSD after that. I'm surprised you remember that trip so fondly, fucking Rose. Anyway, there we are. Down like a freaking downed plane. I'm running out of ideas, like I said. Alright, okay, let's, let's get on the more recognisable ship, right? What should we do? Um, what's a decent... Okay, let's do the Titanic. Real Titanic, so you know it's the real deal. Oh, crap, okay. You actually need to have the strength on two for this. Three, actually. We'll have it on... Yeah, but we'll have it on two, actually. And you need to lower the buoyancy as well, otherwise it rips itself open. And, okay... Originally on the Titanic, from what the games I've played, there are absolutely no funnels connected by string. And see, oh, this is dependent on it. How the hell did that get there? No, 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 no. It's all the bridge here. There was not that there. So I'm trying to give your ship extra strength. This is not the real Titanic. Exposed. Oh my god, I'm being a meme mod again. Fucking hell. It's 2016, Neuramic. Anyway, let's just begin to sink this like it normally will. Let's actually see if it can split the Titanic in half. Okay, hope, hopefully this snaps off. Yay, there we are. Okay, ooh, oh my. Okay, the water's climbing higher than the actual, you know, ocean. That's some something new. Mmm. Mmm. Where, where, where's the funnel gone? They only detach when the water gets there. And that was me diddling about with this before. Question is, though, is will it rip itself open again? I'm not sure. I did actually make one before called Real or Titanic because the first four compartments were actually sealable off while the rest weren't. However, it wasn't really the um, the best thing. There's holes in the side of the ship. Now, see, see, now the funnel should have detached, by the way. And what is what are these waves? It's calling from my reading of Dramatic Titanic book number six. The waves were like that. Okay, there we are. See, I used to tell people about this game because this game was a freaking bomb. Like, I probably won't read this route because it's somebody else's property and shit pack, from what I can understand. So I probably won't be able to redistribute this. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. If you want to see another video on it, make sure to know. Tell me, you know, and that stuff. And Oh, okay, here we are. See, it's a little bit of stress beginning here. Now, normally I would sink the Titanic on one because I know I'd get a satisfying little split here. I'm not going to intervene. I'm not going to stretch anything. Okay, fuck off. I said I'm not going to intervene. I just cut a rope. Okay, that's not going to have any lasting impact, I hope. Okay, see, why is the side of that suddenly, you know, cut open? Like, that that can allow water to get in. Say if, say if the water stopped here, and then but somehow this managed to get under, that would stick the entire damn ship. You know, here we are. See, the back of the ship's coming up. I, I'm not sure about you guys, but this is there's something satisfying about watching an entire ship slowly sink to its demise. Okay, and see, the stress is being relieved because uh, it's not really on the auction it oxygen sauce it's side thing trying to stay above basically so that's cool see so all stress been relieved because there's no more stress like more of the ship is going down per second mm -hmm. well please split in half like this is the only thing that's really having any stress like i said i wouldn't intervene 
But in honesty, I just want a nice split. Like, can you give me that? Can you give me a nice little split? Come on. I don't want to go back to playing Roblox Titanic in all honesty. Come on, here we are. Hey, see there's the shapes. You see each individual string begin to detach and boom. Oh, fucking hell. Mm, I think this is a child in me. Like, I remember I wasn't able to find this game originally. Oh, shit. Is, is this a jolly physics? Is the jolly phys physics getting its revenge again? Okay, why is there so much stress on this one thing? I swear to God, if it's jelly physics. Yep, it's tearing itself open because that's what I mean by jelly physics. It doesn't stop rippling. It'll just randomly start rippling because there's something wrong with it. And that, in all honesty, will begin to contrast to this on the way down, I think. Come on. Okay, see, it's, it's detached. And, okay, it just stops after it rips something open, you know. Completely normal. Okay, let's actually clean this up because I am not having that. Like, I'm sorry if, I, if you're, I'm irritating you because that's actually how the Titanic sunk, but that was bothering me. So fuck off. Okay. Oh, this is satisfying. This is satisfying. This is one of the potentially worst videos I've ever made, but it's a satisfying compilation. Look at this. Hey, is it going to go full 90 degrees in the air? Oh, the bulk of the ship's beginning to tip down. Will it begin to go down like a missile, though? That's the question. I'm pretty sure the original Titanic, though, did not have this there. Unless it actually sunk because the compartments ripped themselves over. Scientists, get the fuck on that. That's a game theory about ship sandbox alpha 1.2.6. Mm. Mm, what is my life come to? Okay, the question is, is will the ship stay afloat? Like, is my buoyancy high? Okay, actually, my buoyancy can be set to 10. This will probably, yeah, but it's going shooting at, back out. <laughs> oh, God. I've, I, 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 I've just made it tip over, darn. I would have a quibble cop reaction for you here, but in honesty, it's just the ship sinking. There's some stuff interesting about it. You'll seem interested in it. As long as I get views, though, I'm motivated. Shit, it's the camera song. Uh, I'm joking. I, I do this for a genuine, genuine hobby. Did it because my Animal Crossing town reset and I was pissed off. And I wanted to get a few things off my chest. Okay, come on. I, I, this needs... To, you're not having corners. You're not... You're not uh, 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 I give him. Okay, there we are. Goodbye, Titanic. It was nice fucking about with you. Uh, the funnel's detached. The funnel's detached according to the little big planet level, so you will detach. Like and subscribe if you want to see the little big planet parts of this series while we, um, we play through the entire Titanic 100th thing. And... Ooh, HMS, where the hood at? Oh, I can get down to this. Where the hood at? Oh, what's this? Wait, is this the one that got shot by the Bismarck? Yeah, it was. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to pause that quick. And we're going to see. Is everything as susceptible to penis? Okay, so let's draw the first sack. Let's draw the second sack. And now let's draw the big nut shack. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. The so question is, is, is it... Can it survive a huge penis on the side of a ship? And, okay, the bottom of the ship needs to be in the water, so it's actually just um, this. The question is, will it survive? Like... It, it looks like one, I guess, and we'll just sort of add a bit of detail on, you know, welcome to sex education class where you're learning about sex on the front side of a freaking ship. Mm. And also, I'm realising how boring this must be for you to watch, but for me, it is the most satisfying thing since a thousand degree knife versus Orbeez. Yeah, all Orbeez were a shit back in the day. Like, you had your own spa with all bees, and now people just bring them into school and get them stuck in people's ears. Oh, I, will, I wish I was born in the 90s. <laughs> At least then I would have finished school. Still probably would have gone through the same shit, done the same stupid stuff. But I'd be out of school. Oh, boy, that would probably be in the I mean, CND level on the streets of New York, Nintendo Switch pre order. Hmm. Okay, there we are. Yeah, so the conclusion from this um, test is, um, no, ships do not like to have penises drawn on the side of them. And remember, if people are asleep, don't give them tea. Fuck, that's been ingrained into my head now. Ah, oh, help, help, help. Oh, I'm looking insane. Okay, here we are, the final plunge. I'll never let go, Jack. Fuck off, bitch. There's a dick on the side of this ship. I'm going down with this. Oh, Oh, that was fun. I can't remember what, like whose like video it was, but there was somebody who definitely, definitely, definitely on the final day of the faction season just had a freaking dick drawn on the side of him. Okay. Oh, slow this in. 
I think this will survive easily. Yeah, that it's that big. Like, this is probably like an entire sh oh, Look at how far it has to go. Oh, oh crap, that's it's actually lagging my game. So the amount of rope, like all the rope physics are about to come into check and that is going to kill me. The question is, it's kind of, okay, this is gonna, you have to lower that ocean depth to 301. My YouTube views used to stop. Any any small little five-year-old who knows that, I would like to be friends with. I sound like a nonce. No, oh my, it's, oh my, that's sinking fast. The question is, though, is can it somehow stay afloat? Yeah, I doubt it. It just it, it ripped down the middle twice. I don't think it wants to stay afloat. I think it's just sort of jumped off a cliff. Okay, there we are. See? Oh, it's making a smiley face. How nice. Right, okay, let's actually draw a smiley face on the side of it. Okay, here's the eyes. Here's the smiley face. Oh, my God. It was horrifying. Oh, here we are. Oh, look, it's something filling here. Oh, oh no, oh no, it was a freaking leak. There's a leak in the boat, and it turns out to be an actual leak. Funny comedy. Uh, end my life. <laughs> I'm out of my video ideas, why? If this is actually entertaining to people and I don't have to make self-deprecating jokes, I know, oh boy, this is gonna turn into a series, isn't it? You know, it's actually speed up the sinking progress a little bit. There we are. Okay, um, oh my, it's like a geezer. It's like a geezer. Jeez, look. Like, you have the th big, you have the bulk of it here, and then there's just bits of sending bigger than they need to be. Look, like, from far away on the map, it's still just a blip, but it's something. Could I put a ship the entire way down here? I'm not gonna mess with that. I don't want to get lost in a vast ocean where there's only one damn ship. Like you can't even view the water. This is the ocean floor. Like, can I set this down to a thousand? Does it make? Yes, it does make a difference actually. <laughs> okay, is 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 it coming back down? Is there any? Oh, it's starting to rebound here. Okay. Oh, here's the final part of the ship. It, it's like caved in on itself. Oh, yeah, oh, that was a nice little interesting episode of um, Sinking Sandbox Alpha 1.2.6. This game will never be updated again because it's the original game, and um, the second one is mildly more interesting, but I um, don't have the hardware to run that because I like AMD. So, yeah, if you like this video, if you didn't like this video, please still like the video. And in all honesty, tell me, remind me in the comments to never play this again if you didn't enjoy this. Because in all honesty, I won't be that surprised if you didn't. Oh, okay, is it coming back now? Oh my, it's, it's literally raining parts of the ship. Like, this is like about nine tenths of the entire ship. Like, like all of that's beginning to curve back around as well. Like, oh my, oh wait, okay, come on, the final, the final parts just need to sort of fill in now. Come on, okay, see. Sinking all the way down, get rid of that rope, that's the funnels, oh no, it's, it's a damaged, I'm not doing this with my cursor 100%. Again, it's more entertaining when you're playing it by yourself, but like, trying to commentate a ship sinking is, um, it's not really the, you know, easiest thing to do in the world, how do you exactly commentate over that? No idea, anyway, oh no, the frick, that's actually mildly fun to record, not just because I discovered that, but... I'm surprised this is still on my crappy, you know, crappy PC. I still have my crappy old Windows XP PC, and I might write in my video ideas, might as well do this. Oh no, everything's sinking. There we are. Now it's no resistance. Okay, we'll even cut off this in case these are actually air pockets. I don't think they are. Okay, like the video, subscribe, tell me to never do this again, and if you don't stop me from making another part of this, we'll go into Steam games and ty Roblox tycoons. Naturally. Yeah, okay. Yeah, tomorrow's video will either be Sims or me forcing Mini Candy to play something against her will on Roblox. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this geezer. I'll probably start charging for this attraction because it's in wit. Anyway, hope you all have a good day and goodbye.